There's a Chinese government spy working inside Twitter. That's just one of a string of accusations in testimony to Congress today from a whistleblower. He says Twitter executives put profit over security as foreign agents and hackers infiltrated the company. The whistleblower is Peter Zatko. In the hacker community, they know him just as Mudge. He served as Twitter's head of security until the company fired him earlier this year. Zatko's testimony went beyond what he disclosed in his 84-page complaint last month to the Securities and Exchange Commission and other regulators. He claims Twitter's leadership is misleading the public, misleading lawmakers, and misleading regulators, and even its own board of directors. What I discovered when I joined Twitter was that this enormously influential company was over a decade behind industry security standards. The company's cybersecurity failures make it vulnerable to exploitation, causing real harm to real people. Hearing that testimony was Elon Musk. Today, he tweeted this popcorn emoji as Zatko testified before lawmakers. For context, of course, Musk is locked in an escalating legal battle with Twitter, trying to pull out of a $44 billion deal to buy the social media company. Musk claims Twitter didn't give him all the data he requested about fake and spam accounts on the platform. Just last week, a Delaware judge overseeing the case ruled that Musk can include new evidence related to Zatko's allegations. Thus, he was listening. The trial set to start next month. CBC senior Washington correspondent Eamon Javers now. Eamon, Twitter's responding to the whistleblower's testimony. That's right, they are, Shep. Twitter responded sharply to his allegations today, saying today's healing, hearing only confirms that Mr. Zatko's allegations are riddled with inconsistencies and inaccuracies. Now, Zatko painted a picture of a company that is paying almost no attention to security and as a result finds itself riddled with foreign intelligence agents stealing information for their own governments. He said there was at least one agent working for China on the Twitter payroll and India had agents at the company too. Now that's alarming because Zatko also alleged that Twitter allows thousands of employees open access to behind the scenes Twitter data and doesn't have good systems to track who's accessing what even if they're trying to get into the accounts of the very senators on the committee today. Now that could make for a field day for foreign spies, he said. All this comes, as you say, as Elon Musk has been using the whistleblower's complaint as ammunition in his own battle to get out of buying the troubled social media company. Twitter shareholders today voted to approve the deal in an effort to force Musk to complete the acquisition. That move was a formal step toward finalizing the deal, and it heads to court in October. One other alarming allegation that Zatko made today, Chef, is that regulators at the Federal Trade Commission, he said, are in over their heads and they just don't have the resources to take on the tech giants. And as a result, he said, they're allowing the big tech companies to simply grade their own homework, as he put it.